Relief efforts are being stepped up in Vanuatu after the damage caused by twin cyclones. HMAS Canberra due to arrive tomorrow with aid, helicopters and personnel joining the multinational response. The extent of the devastation still being revealed. A double blow. Category 4 cyclones Judy and Kevin within days of each other has left Vanuatu reeling again. The two cyclones like hit Vanuatu um, in less than a week, so category four. So um, it was devastating. The destruction is overwhelming. Half the population is affected. Almost 30,000 households, including 60,000 children, says the National Disaster Management Office. There are no reported fatalities so far. Climate change vulnerable, this Pacific nation was still recovering from category five cyclone Pam eight years ago. You mean Vanuatu, Wall is Vanuatu. After Lopam, only label them, you mean, as one resilient people. You mean him, one him. Resilience, you mean him, say, man Vanuatu, Bamba, me come out, any kind of difficult situation is stable, Bamba, me come out, Bamba, me win. A state of emergency declared for six months. Parliament recalled for Friday. Damage assessments are still very preliminary. For the mainly subsistence-based population, food and water supplies will soon be critical. The problems that we will be facing in our communities, uh, as some of us won't, won't have enough food because the cyclone had damaged uh, all the crops that we've been growing in. International aid is on the way. HMAS Canberra is due to arrive tomorrow with three helicopters and hundreds of personnel, joining help from New Zealand and France. In a statement, the Minister for the Pacific, Pat Conroy, said the Australian government stands ready to respond to further requests. Welcome short-term relief, but stronger long-term action on climate change is being sought. A plea from a country bearing little responsibility for climate change but bearing the full brunt of its impact. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.